Now, if you ever run into the problem that whenever you buy a new implement for your tractor, you happen to notice that the drive shaft is too long, meaning that whenever you're going to hook this up to the three point of your machine, once you get that backed up and ready, you notice that you cannot get that drive line attached like you see here. You have two options. One, you can take this back to the dealership and have it fitted to your tractor, or two, you can fix it yourself as I'm about to show you how to do right now. Step one is we need to remove the tractor side of the drive shaft from the implement and then go ahead and take off the implement side of the drive shaft. That way we are able to make our measurements by hooking the implement back up to the tractor, then cutting the drive shaft on either side, putting it back together and being able to run that successfully. So first thing, we just need to go ahead and slide out the tractor side from that drive line, set it aside. And then next we have to remove the implement side of this drive shaft. Now on some implements, you are going to be able to just reach in, push a button, release this drive shaft from the actual implement. On this frontier that we are working on here, we're actually gonna have to remove this protective covering first to be able to get to the bolt that's holding this drive shaft onto the machine. Then once we do that, we can hook the tractor up to the implement, make our measurements, and then make our cuts. All right, now that we've got the shielding removed, luckily we can see what we're working with back here. Sometimes these ends are gonna be bolted on to the implement itself. Here, what we're gonna have is a simple push button system here where I can push up on this button here to release that drive shaft and then be able to pull that off once we relieve that pressure. And then just like that, We've got both ends off, ready to hook up and measure. Once you get it hooked up, we want to make sure and get it leveled out. So you may have to adjust this top link to be able to get that leveled out. Now, once we have our drive line off and our implement hooked up, next thing that we need to do is we need to make two measurements on the implement and tractor. So what we are measuring from is from this point here where we can see the drive line ends. We can see the difference of where it's lubricated there and where it's still dusty. We wanna measure from that point down here to the PTO shaft on our tractor. If it still has the cover on it, we wanna to measure to the point where the dust ends on the cover because that is how much of the drive shaft is gonna go on to that PTO shaft. We wanna make a measurement from that point to that point, and then we want to lower this down to where it is almost level because that is gonna be where it is contracted the most. We wanna make sure and get both of those measurements so that we cut this drive shaft to the right length. We're gonna go in through the top, and I know that this at an angle is not an exact measurement, but we wanna get as close as possible here. Let's say that's about 34 inches. We'll come over here and drop that down just like that to work ground level and make that measurement again and once again right about 34 inches all right so now that we've got the measurement from the tractor to the implement now what we've got to do is we have to measure the entire length from one end to the other of the drive line then what we're going to do is take the difference in those two so if we were to measure this drive line from end to end, we are measuring about 37 and a half inches. So if you remember what we had before was 34. So what we need to do is cut off at least three and a half inches. We are gonna go four and a half off of each side just to make sure that we have enough wiggle room whenever we get this on to make sure that everything fits. Now you're gonna go ahead and split this drive line, but what you're gonna wanna do is take the plastic off also. Take your shielding off once you split this drive line. So once we have it split here, I've already taken the screws out of this one. This one has three screws where you can remove this shield because you are wanting to make sure and cut the four and a half off of the plastic and four and a half off of your actual shaft here and then put everything back together. So we've got that piece off. We're gonna go ahead and measure our four and a half inches and put a mark on our shaft and on our plastic. Now, once we get all of those marked, now we can go over to the chop saw and make those cuts.
Now, once we've got all our cutting done and we're gonna have to do this on other the other side as well, we wanna make sure and get all of these burrs good and cleaned up on the inside and outside, just to make sure that everything fits back together whenever we go back together with our drive shaft. <laughs> Now you have to remember that you do have a shaft that goes on the outside and on the inside. So on the one that goes on the outside, we need to make sure and be cleaning up any of the burrs that may be on the inside too, to make sure that that shaft still slides like it's supposed to. Then once you got it all filed down, time to get our screws back in here. All right, so now we get both pieces of shot of grease here and get them put back together. And once you've got it all put back together, now it's time to go back onto the machine. So now we're going to go ahead and unpin everything. Get our top link out of the way, and this should give us enough wiggle room to get everything set in. We are showing to be measuring up good our end there. So now we just need to break these pins out, pull up a little bit from the machine, hook up our drive line, and then be able to re-hook up to our three-point. Now we just need to back up, re-pin, and we should be good to go. All right, so now let's see if we've got power. got a working tiller all right guys so just like that if you run into this issue you buy an implement and the drive shaft is too long don't stress out it's not that bad you can fix it if you have the tools to do it and like i said if not take it back to that dealership go ahead and have all your measurements have them cut it put it back together and you'll be good to go so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this or other videos over john deere equipment in general make sure to go check out the rest of our channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here